on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Could care less. Well, why she brought it up in the okay. conversation. Okay. And I, mean, I brought it up right. after her. What uh, are you no. about to do? Like, what are you no, going I'm not going to do that. I know my camera is off. Um, it, my camera shut off. But I'm just saying that you want it. After I answer all the ladies the questions, here, this is this is what right. you say. Well, I, I wanted think, to make another I think point. This is what Kay so was saying. Don't speak up for Kay. Kay can speak up for herself. I can say whatever I want. Don't yes, tell me what to say, who to speak okay. up for, who to speak, how to speak. Yes, you can speak for you <laughs> and I'll right. speak for me. I'm going right. to do whatever I I'm want anyway. So why are you Riley. doing this? You're right. I'm a You're grown right. ass woman. You don't tell You're me what to say. Are. I'm going to say whatever I want to say. You yes, say what you want to say. Make your mm -hmm. point. Make the people hear what you got to say. But trying to yep. minimize what I'm saying for what reason? No, 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 no. Do what you do with Anton and just sit back. We're not doing that. No, I don't sit back. Clearly, I'm saying. Yeah, you do. You should do that. You should try you it in these promote types of whole cultures you can instead of trying that. to police yeah, other uh, women as you have a whole lot of power yeah. over the conversation. Nothing. Not now one piece of nothing what he said was a lot. I think that, like, you know, when I think he would never personally go to one of the marches, right? And then when he says, like, oh, we're reaching this common ground, we're getting to, you know, we're getting to the area where we all understand each other, like, no, because it's, it's more than what he said. It really is. It's more than the context that he presented. Like, think about everything else outside of what he said. Those are things that people really want to have common ground about. But a lot of people don't feel that way. There's a lot of men that will literally lay down with the person and tell the woman that is pregnant that you don't abort it. Don't like you, you can't like, no, we're going to have a problem. We're going to do this. Like if, if you do that, don't, don't talk to me. Don't do this and that. So there's no common ground because a lot of the men that are saying that there's common ground, they're not going to those marches and they're not going there to understand. They're not, you know why? Because they don't want to understand because their thought process is their thought process and they're a man. They're not a woman and they'll never understand it. Thank you. So what was, what was the common ground for slut walk? For slut walk? What's that? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, what was the common ground that men should acquiesce to for slut walk? Are you referencing what he said about having sex with multiple men? I'm referencing what he said in context, and I'm also refer referencing the showrunner that's scrolling at the bottom. Right? So, her showrunner are modern women fighting for the right to become the men they hate. They say they hate. I think that I've, I've said this previously that a lot of a lot of women are trying to be like the men that they hate. I don't think I've said it in that context, but I definitely have said that the things that men have been doing, women are starting to do. Oh, shit. Here we go again. I'm just being honest. I mean, just just think about it. Think of yeah, like, I mean, it's true. It's true. I they mean, think, if you think, they think they're getting the get back or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like Anton and I believe Rilla has said the same thing too. Is that we can try to do those things, but I mean, we are getting hurt in the end. But some some women do try to, and some some women are successful. It just depends. They just be lonely. They're getting hurt because, listen, as, as many women want things to be equal for men and women across the board, it's just not. Like, so, yeah, that's why you're getting hurt in the process. You can't do everything that a man can do. You cannot move in the way that a man can move. It is frowned upon. Like, there's there's no reasoning behind a slut walk. Nope. It's not just it's not justifiable at all. No, nope. like it's it's just frowned upon for a, a woman to have multiple partners, and that's just what it is. Like we got to stop making excuses for it. As many women want to say, "Oh, I want to be able to do the same thing that a man can do," we can't. We can't. Nope. We can't. And and to be honest, it's it's not ladylike. It's not nope. feminine at all. No. Nope. So why, why would you want? Why would you even want to behave in that manner? Like, why? So, yes, they are becoming the men that they hate because they want to be able to do everything that the man can do. And and that's that's not logical. Okay, how do you feel about that? Uh, 
what was just said by Tam in the, the question. Do you agree? Um, are modern women fighting for the right to become the men that they hate? I would say that, you know, in this day and age, a lot of people are uh, seeing their reflection, right? Like there are people that see the things that they hate, but don't realize that they're doing those things. Um, and I don't think that that necessarily has to do with gender. I think it just has to do with like qualities and things that you are doing. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't say like fighting for the right to be the men they hate, no. I would say more so people are, um, a lot of people are very hypocritical. A lot of people don't realize that they do the things that they allegedly don't like. And I think that that stems from people not really having a strong stance about what their alleged beliefs are. Um, and we see this all the time in these spaces. Hmm. And yeah. So say that last part that you just said again, the last, this is the last sentence. We see that all the time in these spaces or further back? Uh, a little bit further back. Uh, people not having a strong stance and not really like standing on what they believe in? Yes. So I, I totally, totally believe that. A lot of people don't stand on what they do. And when they talk, when they start talking to a person or they start having debates with people, then they change their stance because they think that their stance is actually wrong. And it's actually not wrong. You like people have to stand solid in how they feel. And if they don't, we'll never get to a common ground because everybody's trying to please everybody. Listen, I'm OK with pleasing the whoever my husband is, but I'm not pleasing the, the, the common people around me. I'm just not going to do it. Because guess what? If I please you, then I'm going to think that you owe me something. And what is it that you owe me? Let's talk about that. But wait, wait, Chavon, you don't think modern women are fighting for the right to become the men they say they hate when they fight for sexual liberation? They fight uh, <clears throat> uh, for, um, you know, my body, my choice. So in other words, um, you know, if a woman gets pregnant, um, she can choose to have or not have the baby. Man has no say so in that manner, right? In that matter, my, my bad, my, in that matter. Um, fight for equality, like equal pay, da, 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 which when you do the numbers on it, and I think probably Anton can speak to it better than me, but from what I understand from the studies, that doesn't necessarily bear out because you definitely don't. I don't see women on construction sites, right? In the in the same number that you see men on construction sites or doing electrical work, so on and so forth. I B E W. I think it's in Atlanta, or whatever. But anyway, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers or whatever, right? So Siobhan, I'm just going back to you real quick. Um, and maybe Kay can come in and expound a little bit further on her position. Uh, but you don't think modern women are modern women are fighting for the right to become the men they still hate? Well, if you would have heard me earlier, I actually said that they are. They are actually fighting, um, you know, to become the, the men that they hate because they feel like they're on the they're on the same level. And that's why I said before that is that the, there's not going to be a common ground because they don't understand where we're coming from. We don't understand where, well, not in all instances, but there are some times where we do agree and we do have a common ground about certain things. But when it comes to those 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 marches and you're coming down and like, oh, we have common ground. No, we don't. We don't have common ground because it, it we're not going to meet this plateau of... Um, of, of us agreeing about certain things we're just not like he can laugh about it that was pure him being a pure comedian saying ha 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 you know we know we we agree with this no we don't agree with that yeah there are some women that really do want to have sex a lot there do with multiple men and it's fine but i mean just think about it the same thing that we always say all the time can women really have sex with a lot of people and it not hinder 
their relationships. Can men? I don't think so. Men can, I mean, you got to think about it. It, first of all, as a woman, we're not going to ask the man what their count is at this day and age. I, I mean, but even don't, people don't even discuss, discuss even things without, like that. I mean, men don't, don't even ask that. that. Even without that conversation, I'm just saying, like, generally, Siobhan, um, do you think that a man who's, you know, out here doing whatever for many, many decades or whatever the case may be is going to have, like, the healthiest relationships, like, more so than women? Like, I, I don't know. I think things affect people um, in different ways. Some men, some women, some people are going to be majorly affected by certain things and some are not going to be as affected. That's just my opinion. But I don't think that it's necessarily um, that men are cool after they do a lot of things and women aren't. Like, I don't think it's that. I don't think I, I, I don't think it's that either. I think that's the facade that like society presents that like he can have a hundred and two hundred bodies and just be still solid, like in the head or in the mind spiritually. I just don't agree with that. I get the difference with men and women, but there are levels and like you can't act like you can't go off the extreme and then you're just like 100 percent like there and healthy. I just I just don't see that with you interacting your spirit with so many women. And any man, anyone will say any if we're especially talking about spiritual, any spiritual leader will say that to both genders that they need to conserve their spiritual energy, um, semen retention, all these things. So I think that I don't think that that part of it is gender specific. But I what, what Siobhan was saying in terms of what women I, I don't think that women really want those things either. I just think women are tired. So women say, instead of just sitting, I'm tired of you cheating on me and me sitting in the house and crying about it. So you know what? I'm going to go cheat back. But most women just be like, I just want you to stop cheating and just love me. That's what most women want. They don't want to do what men do. They don't want to do that. But they also are tired of looking fucking stupid because you're fucking the bitch that lives down the street. Like they're tired of it. And because of the, the sexual, what is it, whatever, liberation, whatever, it's become more acceptable for her to exercise those options if you act crazy. So I, I think most women want what women really want, but I think all of those things are mostly reactionary. Women want more money because men leave them with these babies that they can't afford to take care of and they need more money. You know what I'm saying? Women don't want to really work like that, but women don't want to be poor either. And children is the number one thing that makes women Poor. And yes. where did those come from? From men, right? And then Rilla, Rilla saying, oh, you know, women, I don't know about her choice, her body, her choice. It's always going to be her body, her choice. That's just, that's just how it works. Your role is an insemination. Your role is, is, is when you ejaculate inside of her. That's the part that you get to control. And the part that she gets to control, we have different roles. And the part that she gets to control is that okay. this thing grows in her body and it's her body, her choice, whether it's voluntary it's or involuntary, because you can definitely okay. impregnate her. Her body can say no and definitely miscarry. So it's her body, her choice, regardless. And I don't think that has anything that that shouldn't be like, oh, if you if, if you impregnate a woman, then that's you've made your choice. You've done the part of the of the part that where you get to. So make so, 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 let me so, so so my point being, and what I said was, once the man, um, whether agreed upon or not, you're saying once the man impregnates the woman, he has no further say. That's your stance. When, when it comes to the pregnancy of the the child that's in her body, what what can you do? What 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 can, what say do you actually have? Uh, I mean, a, like, obviously, they legally, can they can change some things legally. And between the two of you, if you have a real relationship with this person, I would assume that they would respect how you feel. But if you don't, which a lot of men don't, because they just out here smashing and they impregnate random women. Well, we maybe talk from two different huh. but I got You know it. what I'm saying? What 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 choice do do you have in what she does with her body? No, no, listen. What can you do? No, that's the point that I am making is that men don't have that say so in terms of a woman with my body, my choice. Right. That's and you're not supposed to. Make. And you're, wait, you're not supposed to? That's not that's not your the place where you where you get to make your choice. The place where you get to make your choice is as a man 
you decide who you ejaculate inside of. Take some responsibility. Like you decided to ejaculate in this woman. And so whatever comes after that, you just have to deal with it because you made your choice in how this whole pregnancy, bring a child into the world works. You have a role. She has a role. You've made your choice. You can't get mad after if you don't like how she move around with the, with the baby. You chose to ejaculate in her. And so you got to deal with however she decides to move around after she's impregnated. And that's it. Like men who always want to, uh, 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 like somebody did something to you. Nobody did nothing to you. You went to her house. You put the gate in the code. You got in the code. You went and found guest parking. You went to her door. You went to her house. You got in her bed. You ejaculated inside of her. You made all of these choices. But then own her body, her cho- you chose her. Q, come back up. Then, fight back, the- Rilla. Fight back. No, bro, relax. <laughs> no fight back. Q, wasn't there, wasn't there an no fight back on your platform <laughs> um, either yesterday or earlier today <sighs> around the dude that had, uh, maybe it was on Britney's joint, where the dude had agreed, he had an agreement. Yes, Ali. Like, so he had, had a girlfriend who was dating tr- oh, woman, sorry, hey, hey, and the woman trapped him. It's interesting to me, Kayla, that you take the position that um, you know, I just think it's interesting. I think it's interesting that you take she the trapped position. Trapped him how they had an agreement that they weren't gonna have kids before they were married. That was right. the he agreement. still was having sex with her, right? And he he's a grown man that knows like what happens with sex, or does he yeah. not know how sex works? Well, she doesn't know either. Uh, the, agree- know? The, the agreement was if they did get pregnant, she would get rid of it. That was the agreement. Okay. That was well, the this, agreement. Whole, this whole love and relationship thing, there are no guarantees. In writing? There are no guarantees in this. You get into a situation, it's a risk. And did so, he get it in writing? Huh? that was his girlfriend. That was his girlfriend. I said, did he get in writing? No, yeah, did he get it in writing? That's where we at. We need to get it in writing. I'm asking you a question. You no, want somebody a, to if, 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 to a contract? It, it was a, it was a verbal writing. agreement. Yeah, well, it was a verbal commitment because we're women and we change our minds. And that happens. So um, wow. you should probably get that written down somewhere if that's something you want to try to enforce. Wow. But the woman that I was five years ago when I got with you may not be the woman that I am I today. You. So, so and, gentlemen, so, so mm-hmm. young gentlemen, what you're hearing is prenup. Hey, you believe in prenups? I do. Prenup. That don't have nothing to, but see, y'all argument is still weak. I don't think that has anything to do with this, though, but I do. Correct. Hey, hey, the the argument argument. Here. Nah, I, I could dis- well, I'll wait. I'll let y'all finish y'all statements. Well, Go ahead, you, you, hot, you, hot, you hot in the pants for this one. Come on. Huh? No, so, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So Kay asked me a question earlier about men and their count before. So me personally, right? I think that whatever a man, what whatever a man does before me, that's really not my business. But what I am gonna ask when he is my man, we're gonna get tested and we're gonna make sure that you not bringing me any taint. Okay? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Siobhan, I mean. She asked the question earlier about just previous, like men that have. I was just, I was just asking because you mentioned you know that like women would be affected. I just asked you, do you think men would also be affected from having many partners and different situations in their life? That was the question. I wasn't just uh, like. Okay, do you think? Okay, if a woman had, if a woman had forty bodies and a man had forty bodies, who do you think is going to be more affected? I'm not sure. It depends on the person. How many the woman got? 40 bodies and the man has 40 bodies. Who do Oof. you think will be more affected? Oof, we. I'm not How sure. Let's say, 30, let's say 30 How bodies, old is she? right? She got, what, 30 she bodies. Is she 80? Let, let's, say she's, let's say she's 35. Oh, 40. She's 30 bodies and he has 30 bodies. Who do you think is going to be Oof. more affected? They both 35 like, and they both got 40 bodies. They're both 35, but we know how men handle sex at times and we know how women handle sex at times. Studies have shown that if women have 10 or more bodies, they're more affected in a major way. Us women, we are more emotional. The more bodies women have, the less you are going to parabond with somebody. We are not the same as men sexually. Like, that's that's crazy to think. Like, 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 what? 
and to promote that that slut walk that is so stupid like would you want your little girl to be a slut too to to walk in that slut walk like do you want this to be taught in the schools like this is just ridiculous to think to answer a simple question i don't know we know how we are as women we are more emotional Men can have sex and not have no feelings at times. Okay, yes. I'm not going to say all men. I'm not going to say all women are emotional. I'm not going to say, yes, there are women that can detach emotional. But come on, let's just be realistic. Like, <laughs> we're not the same sexually as men. That's just what it is. But If that chick has got 40 bodies. No, 30. 30 bodies and 35. If she got 30 bodies, she'd be on the streets. Well, let's just be honest. And we're not going to say if she has 30 bodies, not all their <laughs> relationships are great. So she's going to be majorly she got affected. 30 bodies, 30, bro. That sounds like, that that sound like a, that bro, if somebody got 30 bodies, that sounds like a serial killer. But the, but the dude got 30 bodies too. And that's what Q was asking. Ah, that's, that's different. But Rilla, in your eye, in your, not eyes, but who do you think in your mind, Rilla, is going to be more affected, a man or a woman? The one? Okay. Uh, 30, Siobhan, you, she got 30? And so we already said it. Siobhan, who do you think know. is going to be more affected? The woman. Kayla. The woman. Well, she's Cam. broken. She's broken. Listen, I already said it. We can't move the way me and move. Exactly. We know how we I are. Don't think that K, I don't think that Kay was uh, denouncing no, that. I think that she her. was just her saying the same that. Question as everybody. Come on. No, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Oh, let's, let's tag team. No, it's a simple question. I'm we know how women operate. Teaming. I'm simply speaking. And you all I'm saying, that, that, all I'm saying is that she's a grown K, woman. What she doesn't I need believe, a mama right now. And that's like, fine. I can, I'm a grown woman too. And I'm going to say whatever I want to say. Okay, which is that there's a misconception that there is no limit or that there is no level with men and they can just rah-rah every, everything and still be okay. I think that's what she was saying is that there are limits and there are broken men too that use sex to heal, that use sex to mask real insecurities. That Just because um, he's a man doesn't mean that he doesn't have issues as well from all the bodies that he's racking up. Kayla, you're right. What was the question? You you guys think that he doesn't? It's it's honestly insane to think that. I don't think you're you're right. But why are we having this? I'm not saying that he's more effective than her. I'm saying the topic was about women. Y'all honestly think men come out of it unscathed? No, they don't. They do not come out of it unscathed with a hundred bodies. I don't want to hear it. You're right. You're right. Why is it that we're talking about women and now we got to reverse it and talk about men? We're no, talking, about, I'm talking about what I'm talking about. And what I'm saying is that no, I'm addressing we're what, talking about what women. Kay, and here she I'm goes. Addressing so do men get, how do men I'm addressing, Why I'm addressing what Kay. I'm addressing what Kay. I let y'all talk. And I'm talking now. And okay, I'm addressing ahead, what Kay ahead, spoke to earlier. And I just mm-hmm. don't believe that men are out that are out here wilding are unscathed. We can see it from these podcasts, from these dudes that talk about I got a hundred bodies. Listen to okay. the shit that they talk about. Them niggas okay. are broken. I don't know what right. makes you think. Oh, they're just the greatest husband material. They're just there. I never Women said that. Nobody, after said them. No, that nobody, nobody ever said that. that. Nobody Women said that. Women are broken and they need therapy. Wait, nobody nobody therapy. ever said that. Nobody, that. Out nobody, nobody said that, though. Okay, nobody well, ever I'm said that. I'm making the point that I'm making. Oh, you don't have to argue. Nobody said that. You're making a point that nobody is going against. You're right, hey, Kayla. Hey, 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 y'all made that sentiment when Kay spoke to that earlier. At the no, beginning Kay, of the no, y'all Kay made Kay that means... sentiment because you said because Listen, you created a whole scenario to say, no, well, let's do the math. Who do y'all think is more more hurt? Because now we're comparing who's more hurt, who's no, more ma'am. Affected. When Kayla, you know said that they're both hey, affected. They both said women. not do that. Why is it so hard for women to say men should not do this? Why are yeah, we saying this is okay for men to be in the If we're building families, if we're building communities, we should be encouraging Damn. both genders yep. to stop slutting themselves out yes, and to find so a right. person instead of Damn. saying, oh, we know for men it's different. They can just do their thing. No, the fuck they can't. No, Nobody they should not be doing that. Are you done? That's Nobody what I'm saying. And, that. I'm done with and when, when you were given the option, you yourself said women. But can I say something? After that, that, wait, wait, but let me say something. No, that's what I, I should bring up. I didn't start the man or woman. What are you talking about? Kay did. 
she said, what about men? And she said something. I don't remember. I'm not going to quote her. Right. She brought up the men. We're talking about women and how they move. Why is it when we're talking about women and how they move sexually and slut walk? Why do we have to bring up? Well, what can men do it too? We're not talking about men. We but are the not conversation men. Evolves. And, that is the and I'm going to talk about whatever that I want to talk problem. about. No, I'm and that's just about. what it is, though. No, the okay, conversation so, can evolve. I'm like y'all can't police me in the conversation. I'm, I'm gonna go wherever, I, whatever no way I want to go with Kayla. it. Period. Like, what are you You're, trying to do here? Like, hey, hey Kayla, Kayla, on the real nobody though, nobody is going against you. Kayla. What are you? You're I literally nobody... made a statement. I made a statement. If it don't apply, let it fly. Right. I said what I said. We could have kept the conversation moving, but you feel a need to to do what for what. For what, what though? For what? What is all this energy for? It's I literally an make a piggyback point off questions. of what okay, Kate said, ahead. and it could have been that, but you want to argue. For no, what? If, it's not that, if you I'm, don't I'm, care, I'm not and it's not that serious. I didn't what say are you I didn't care. This for? Like, for that's what? Not my, that's not my statement. I don't say that. For what? I'm just saying. What, for why? Why is this happening? May I explain? Go ahead. I want to know why this is happening. Oh, okay. Okay. So at first, we were talking about women. We're talking about women. Why is it that when we're talking about women, then we have to throw back, well, the men do this. The men can do this. We're not talking about the men. We're talking about the women. So, yes, I did ask you guys the question regarding who gets more affected, man or woman, because your friend K.A. brought up men into the conversation when we're talking about women. I could care less. Well, why she are brought you it trying? up in the okay. conversation. Okay. And I, mean, I brought it up right. after her. What uh, are you no. about to do? Like, what are you no, going I'm not going to do that. I know my camera is off. Um, it, my camera shut off. But I'm just saying that you wanted, after I answered all the ladies the questions, here, this is this is what right. you said. Well, I, I wanted think, to make another I think point. This is what and so I did. Don't speak up for Kay. Kay can speak up for herself. I can say whatever I want. Don't yes, tell me what to say, who to speak okay. up for, who to speak, how to speak. Yes, you can speak for you <laughs> and I'll right. speak for me. I'm going right. to do whatever I I'm want anyway. So why are you right. doing this? Right. I'm a right. grown ass woman. You don't tell yes, me what to say. Are. I'm going to say whatever I want to say. You yes, say what you want to say. Make your mm -hmm. point. Make the people hear what you got to say. But trying to yep. minimize what I'm saying for what reason? No, 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 no. Do what you do with Anton and just sit back. We're not doing that. No, I don't sit back. Clearly, I'm saying. Yeah, you do. You should do that. You should try you it in these promote cultures. You can instead of trying that. to believe yeah, other no. women as you're not holding power over the conversation. 